I am the tropical horticulturist here, so I take care of all the tropical plants in the conservatory. Orchids are my favorite, so oh, I'm very lucky that we have like a really good orchid collection. Everyone here. has that little wry smile, orchid. Yeah, yeah, there. orchids. That's well, I used to not be an orchid grower. I used to really not care too much about orchids because uh -huh. I really only knew them as like the grocery store Phalaenopsis. Right. And then I discovered my favorite genus is Encyclia. Oh, nice. Um, just they have these really, really spherical pseudobulbs and really right. nice long strappy leaves. So I like those clean lines. Mm. And so when I found like the different growth forms, like from a vegetative perspective, I mm -hmm. was like, oh, I can get into this. And then I got into it and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm in it. So like this is Brassolorchis shunkiana. This is the, um, like the, one of the black orchids. Um, so this is a maxillaria relative, but you can actually see it's also, um, there's some weeds in there, but it's also again in a tiny oh, pot. Oh my goodness. So I just treat it as a mounted plant because pretty much this is all roots in this pot at this point. Are you immersing them in water or you have like top? Yeah. Well, how, do you, how do you do it? Everything um, is hand watered here and um, I top water everything. Okay. Um, there, it's a lot easier that way. Um, I can kind of control what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, um, for some of the things that are like really root bound like that, thankfully I can just like put the breaker right over it. Over here is mostly Selogeny Alliance, so that's Dendrochylum, Selogenies. I really, this is one of my favorite groups of orchids. Why is that? They're, they have a sort of elegance to them, I find. I do really love a long cascading chain of flowers. Mm -hmm. um, so like something like the Dendrochylum Wenzelia, it's not necessarily a long cascading chain, it's only about this long, it's mm -hmm. red flowers, they're gorgeous. But I also like really love that clean, grassy foliage. Right. So you'll start to notice it's, a trend. That's, that's not the red wheat. It is. Is that it is. one? Okay, yeah. I think I have this one at home, and mm -hmm. I liked it just because the flower looks so unusual. Right. But I just thought it was really unique, you mm -hmm. know? This is a pretty form. I love this one. It's like got bamboo canes. It is. With like a, with beautiful, elegant leaf mm -hmm. tips. Um, this is Myosanthus affinis. It's another Plurothallus, mm -hmm. um, Plurothallid relative. Um, and yeah, the new foliage comes out. It looks like a nice, like, a nice blade. Yeah, this one is even. Oh yeah, feel that feel one's like even better. Oh yeah, better. show that one off. Yeah. Show that one off. <laughs> this um, one's got a gorgeous. It's form. got good forming. Yeah. It's got, ignore the weeds, but yeah. yeah, it's a lot of this is actually new growth from the past like year or two because uh -huh. you can see some of it was like yeah. leaning towards some like right, exactly. and I kind of turn it around. But it's, they come out these like nice blade shaped leaves yeah. and they're just gorgeous, very upright. Mm -hmm. And this is what I like from an orchid: very clean, clean lines. Very I clean. love clean yeah. lines. Um, and they get just a big burst of flowers right at the apex, right where the, um, like the, basically the petiole. Yeah, what um, a beautiful form. Yeah, it's just great. And they're like very fragrant, they're like white flowers, and mm -hmm. it looks like it's just a big pom-pom that you mm -hmm. slapped onto the plant.